I don't know about you, but I'm still stuffed after Thanksgiving. But one thing that's not very full, my wallet. And I'm sure you're in a similar boat. I'm Gabe Ross, and if you're looking for something fun to do on your weekend, don't worry, I've got a few tips and ideas that'll keep you from breaking the bank. It won't cost you a dime to check out the many tree lightings and parades happening this weekend. Starting Friday, Holden Beach will hold its tree lighting ceremony at 5.30. The town of Calabash will hold their parade and tree lighting at 6. And the Island of Lights Christmas Parade will step off at 7.30 in Carolina Beach. On Saturday, the towns of Lake Waccamaw and Chalot will hold their respective Christmas parades starting at 10 o'clock. At 10.30, the town of Bladenboro will step off for their parade festivities. At 11, the Atkinson community will host its parade. Saturday afternoon at 2, you can head to either Chadburn for their Christmas parade or to Oak Island for the Christmas by the Sea parade. East Arcadia will hold its tree lighting ceremony at 5 o'clock, and Leland rounds off the night with their tree lighting at 6. Then Sunday, join me in the heart of downtown for the annual Wilmington Holiday Parade. There'll be lots of floats from area businesses, organizations, and first responders capped off by an appearance from Santa Claus himself. Last year, the threat of storms canceled the parade, but don't worry, if that happens again, the parade will be rescheduled. So join me for our live coverage exclusively on Bounce Wilmington Digital Channel 6.2, ATMC Channel 72, Charter Channel 197, Spectrum Channel 1245, or Dish Network Channel 359. Should be a lot of fun, hope to see you here. You know, I think it's pretty safe to say that spectators and competitors alike in the Island of Lights Christmas flotilla year after year have a boatload of fun. <laughs> Get it? Boatload? No? No laughter? Okay. Well, moving on. Competitors this year will make their way from Snow's Cut back to the Carolina Beach Boat Basin and back in front of a panel of judges showing off their best lights and competing for some big bucks. We'll have about a dozen boats decorated out in full holiday cheer. So come on down, make an evening of it, um, visit one of our local restaurants for dinner before the flotilla, and after the festivities, see all the great Christmas decorations at the boardwalk here in Carolina Beach. The fun kicks off Saturday at 6 o'clock. For information on this and other events happening during the Island of Lights Festival, check out their website, pleasureislandoflights.com. Finally, if you don't want to make the drive to Wilmington this weekend, it's okay. Here's a place where you can create unforgettable family memories for all ages. Now through Sunday, Lou Mill Vineyard in Elizabethtown in cooperation with Fort County Electric will present their drive through Festival of Lights. It features millions of lights and decorations synced to music that you listen to on your car's FM radio. Plus, you can visit with Santa Claus, see the Christmas Village, and stock up on candy and gifts. The cost is $10 per person, that's tax included. Ages five and under get in free. For future dates, special pricing, and more information, check out their website, lumillvineyard.com. You know, there are so many other great events going on around the area. We just didn't have time to fit them all into this segment. So for even more content, you can go to wect.com forward slash community and click on the calendar tab at the top of the page. You can see specific events by date and even submit an event of your own. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and who knows, maybe I'll feature it in a future segment. Helping you to get out and enjoy your weekend, I'm Gabe Ross. Try not to have too much fun. <laughs>